The government plans to take a similar approach to other small jurisdictions such as Andorra and Monaco. It says before this amendment, Gibraltar's Communications Act required EU-related measures which are no longer suitable for the ROC, and that this legislation is an important preliminary step which will further enable the government to reform laws relating to telecommunications. Plans to grant an exclusive licence to one single mobile network operator, it says, will ensure that Gibraltar continues to have reliable access to mobile services in future. In a press release, the government claims there's absolutely no question of the legislation, as drafted, being incompatible with the constitution. It says Jib Telecom operates within legal boundaries and does not rely on unauthorised services to attract customers, and that the government remains committed to lawful and reliable service provision. The GSD has weighed in on the matter this evening, accusing the government of political dishonesty, having rushed the bill through as urgent in what clearly seems to have been a move to block competition, namely Jib Fiber. This, says the opposition, brings up a very serious question on conflict of interest, with Fabian Picardo both the chief minister and the chairman of Jib Telecom. Craig Saccarello MP says it was now clear that the government has manipulated parliamentary process in the interests of Jib Telecom and that it should have been candid about the motivation of this bill. GBC put questions to number six on this subject earlier this week, asking whether companies in the sector were consulted on this matter or whether Jib Fibre had been contacted regarding this bill. We also ask whether the regulatory authority or government had any communication from outside companies expressing an interest in applying for a mobile operator licence. The government has not answered these questions.